Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Today I perform work on this 2010 Toyota Tundra. The owner called her White Buffalo. And there is a really incredible story with her, which is including radiator cap. So grab a popcorn sit down in some comfy chair and listen this you won't believe this I was told this story from the owner a while ago when he had a problem which will be part of the story and he said you should film it you should film it and warn the other subscribers and I never found the time so it was not done but today something just happened which is absolutely clear trigger it needs to be shared for Toyota owners to give them warning what can happen with this 4.6 liter 1UR V8 engine so for some reason the owner was doing his own maintenance correct right this is awesome he was I think checking, he was just checking the coolant or maybe he was going to replace the coolant <laughs> and he removed the radiator cap but as he removed that radiator cap, pulled it off he said it kind of fell apart there was the spring and there was the, the parts and he couldn't find the, all of it he said something was missing so whatever he looked looked didn't find anything gathered the top part order a new one finish his coolant flush or something he was good to go well as he thought Shortly after, not immediately, but shortly after, one week later, he started having intermittent overheating. He said, oh geez, the new cap is junk. Bought another cap, put a new one on it. It's probably not pressurizing or something. So he started having overheating. Checked everything. Everything was fine, except intermittent uphills maybe at idle the engine will start crawling in the too hot he's mechanically inclined so he always watches his gauges and he was like oh my god a problem he called me i was booked so i didn't have a time he didn't know what to do with it he called the, the dealer and gave it to the dealer he said hey, this is the problem exactly and he described in the details everything to the oh, service writer gave it to them they said they charge a lot it took like three or four hours times whatever hourly they have like it was like 500 bucks plus minus this is what I remember they kept it for a week despite it is his work thing right do you see that lumber rack he does a work with it every day so he needs it but they kept it like a week after the week they said well we can't figure it out we don't know uh, can't then duplicate or if we duplicate we can't find out what's going on here you go then they didn't want to return the money so he had to call Toyota USA and they get involved and the dealership gave him money back because they didn't do anything he replaced the radiator or did it give it to me at that moment maybe maybe he bought his radiator it's a while ago years ago so I replaced the radiator thermostat it didn't help he will say I still have that overheating so he, he keeps thinking he keeps thinking well that cap that cap I, I that one time I didn't find some piece I don't know where it fell F did it fall in the grass in my house 
I don't know. So he kept like, I need to figure it out. I need to figure it out. Months later, he finally goes and opens that cooling system again. I will show you where. So if you look down here, this is the upper radiator hose. Right down there. Do you see all these coolant hoses? They are being split and they are feeding different areas. So he said, finally, I, I took it apart. I was so desperate. Nobody can help me. Not a dealer. Not you, Peter. You just don't know, don't have time, so I have to figure it out myself. So he finally got lucky. He opened the cooling system again and he, if you use some needle nose pliers, he was able fished out, out of this part, that broken piece, the piece of, small piece of plastic, which got stuck in this and was floating around and made it through the radiator apparently it went through the radiator that's what he thinks floated in that and it was causing an intermittent problem so that was his story he said hey you should film it for the for the subscribers so they can learn from it i know it's very rare this is not common but should be there so i said yeah if I will ever have time, I will do that, of course. But I didn't do it, as I disclosed to you, if I shared with you. I never found the time, it was not important to me, until just now. I did some oil leak repair for him on the engine, which will be in different video on this channel. And I need to refill the coolant in the radiator so I come to the top I unscrew the radiator cap I pull it up and exactly what just happened to him I pulled only the top of it I'm like oh my god it's happening again and I grabbed this camcorder today for this filming because that camcorder can show a lot of detail. So this, it actually end up like this way. This is what was in my hand. So as I unscrew it, totally normally, I took it out and I'm like, oh my God, it's missing a part. And then I looked right here. I look right here in this opening and I'm like oh my goodness now it's becoming a problem because what was looking at me was this part this was sitting there it was very easy to grab this and move it out but my friend this was still inside and if I We'll try to zoom on it. You will see that broken area where the plastic shattered, right? I believe it's the heat and the H. Do you see how bad it is? We will see the same. I will unzoom from it when we will look right here. So look at this area. You will see where it breaks. That's why I grabbed this camcorder because it's really brilliant in showing these close-ups. My Sony big cameras with those big lenses they can do that do you see do you see that damage where the plastic breaks right this is the other part so that separated well this little fella was deep in this opening I almost screamed I'm like no what if this will fall apart it was deep inside it was stuck there so obviously needle nose pliers and other tools to fish it out without any of this falling apart at ending inside of the radiator traveling there 
and causing him another maybe months of the problems lost time and money so I believe that was clear indication that it's the time to film this and share it with you guys so I can finally grab all my adapters for the filling the cooling system with the super long life Toyota coolant I can bleed the air out of the system and meanwhile I ordered new aftermarket because the, I cannot get delivery today it's getting late already if you look on the clock 3.30 it's too late to get it from Toyota but I will get him an aftermarket radio cap at least that he can drive home and if he wants to switch it later with Toyota piece he can and there is at least one good thing out of this it finally made me, forced me to tell the story, to share it with you guys if it ever happens to you make absolutely sure you gather all these little pieces if not it could be floating in your cooling system and causing overheating a little bit later so thank you for listening I hope it's not too long but I wanted to tell you every single detail what happened to him the the headache was absolutely incredible I think he dealt with it, with it like a month so that, that took a while to find the problem so now you know thank you for being patient listening the story if you like it giving thumb up or two thumbs up and be subscribed I will always have a lot coming your way soon Thank you for watching and have a great day my friend.